What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video in this video today. Unfortunately, it's going to be another injury update video. Some good news, some bad news, things like that. You know, it's it's the, you know, getting towards that, that final stretch in the season, really trying to make that playoff push. But that's also when injuries really become a factor uh, not just for the Ravens, but for every team in the NFL, right? You know, this is where, you know, key pe- players are missing time, right? Jamar Chase is out uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, Darren Waller's out for the Raiders. Like, key pieces on teams that, you know, want to be playing well. Obviously, Hollywood's out. Chargers dealing with injuries. Juju Smith-Schuster's had a concussion. So, like, top teams in the NFL, they always have to deal with these injuries when they're trying to make the push. I know I brought up the Raiders, but I was just bringing up good players that are hurt right now. But the Ravens are dealing with it, all right? But before I talk about the players that are injured, I'm going to talk about the good thing. Deshaun Jackson was activated to the 53-man roster this week, which means he's going to play. And I think this is big news because Deshaun Jackson looked really good. (laughs) He looked really good when he was playing. And Lamar Jackson was throwing him the football. So, you know, him being able to come out there and being a player that is a veteran, knows how to get open, and is getting has gotten open for the Ravens over the middle of the field in the intermediate range – that is crucial to what the Ravens need to do in the in the in the NFL, you know, in, in terms of their scheme. Because obviously Deshaun Jackson is known for the long ball. Deshaun Jackson's signature is going deep. He's a deep threat, right? You know, his most iconic play outside of a punt return touchdown against the Giants was the first play of the game in Monday night football against the Washington, then known as Redskins. Deshaun Jackson and Michael Vick. Boom. First play of the game. Just an unbelievable play. Ravens don't really utilize the deep ball because they don't have the the, the scheme that utilizes it. What they're trying to do, I bring it up in every single video, especially when I talk about the offense, is slow the day, slow the game down so that they can allow their defense to rest so they can play great defense and they can grind out the clock and be physical. But when you're slowing the game down, um, you know, the, the big plays aren't going to be there nearly as much because you're not trying to get, you know, the 80 yard touchdowns. Obviously, you'll take them if you get them from our season guys open down down the field. He's going to take that shot. But the play calls aren't going to be, oh, hey, let's all the time try and get someone behind the defense. Maybe we try it once, twice, three times a game. But it's not something consistent, right? The Bills try and do it all the time. The Chiefs try and do it all the time. The Packers try and do it all the time. We're not those teams. We run a completely different system. But what the Ravens need is players that, hey, maybe they we run the ball two times, first and second down. All of a sudden, it's third and nine. We need a guy that can get that first down. Deshaun Jackson, the way that he's played this season, is a player where he can get you 15 yards. That's crucial, right? Demarcus Robinson can get you 15 yards. Mark Andrews can get you 15 yards. Those are the players that the Ravens are are, are needing um, for those intermediate plays. Obviously, Rashad Bateman, when he's healthy, can get you 15 yards. You know, James Prochet hasn't, you know, done it much in his career. Uh, so it, it's really something where we're looking at it like, hey, Deshaun Jackson could actually be a really big playmaker um, as an intermediate chain mover, which is not what you would expect when you sign Deshaun Jackson in the middle of the season. You're thinking, hey, this guy's going to be explosive at in the big play, do all of these great things for the team. But in reality, I think he's... He's our intermediate threat. I think Demarcus Robinson is probably our number one. Um, You know, you could argue Devin DuVernay, but Devin DuVernay, I've talked about it before. He's not used correctly whatsoever by Greg Roman. So topic for another video. Don't want to talk about Greg Roman too much in this video. So Deshaun Jackson is actually, I think that's really big news because of the the injury that he had. It was like, okay, how often are we going to be able to get Deshaun Jackson? Is it going to be, you know, every other week, every three weeks? Once in the entire season, we didn't really know. But when we had him activated, we used him a lot. And then he got injured. Um, But he's back. (laughs) I think that's really big. But in terms of the Ravens injuries, uh, big news. Isaiah Likely's out. Isaiah Likely, I don't even think he's traveling with the team. Uh, Charlie Kohler could get his first career uh, NFL game in, which could be really big for the tight end position. But in terms of tight ends, we got Josh Oliver. Again, Josh Oliver, a.k.a. The Weapon. He's been very good this year. He's been a great run blocker. He's been, he, he seems to have chemistry with Lamar Jackson. I mean, he really fits well into this system. I think he's a really solid tight end, too. I think a lot of teams would love to have Josh Oliver as a tight end, too, on their roster. The Ravens have him as like a tight end three. You know, when we get Charlie Kohler, he could be a tight end four. But this game is going to be tight end two. 
Um, you know, he's not, if you guys play fantasy football, you know, you know, Josh Oliver is not a guy that you're picking up. <laughs> um, but in reality football, he's a very good player to have on your roster. And, and so I, I'm, I'm okay with Isaiah likely being out where we may list some, miss some of the, you know, stuff after the catch that he brings, you know, we run a couple of screens every once in a while to Isaiah likely, but maybe those screens go to Devin DuVernay instead, right? Maybe we do a, um, you know, a fake bubble screen, a uh, deep route to a guy like Deshaun Jackson. If you remember week two against the Arizona Cardinals in 2019, right? You know, that's what we did. Uh, fake the screen to Hollywood Brown, hit Mark Andrews, uh, you know, in the corner of the end zone. A lot of different possibilities there uh, with those players. But, you know, also Devin DuVernay is questionable, as is Demarcus Robinson. So, you know, Devin, you know, Deshaun Jackson getting activated is not, for no reason, all right? It's not just because he's healthy. It's because we also are questionable as to who's going to be playing in this game. And so whether whether we get them all, whether we don't, I know Deshaun Jackson is traveling with the team. So I'm sorry. I know Devin DuVernay is traveling with the team. There's a lot of Ds going on right now. Uh, but Devin DuVernay is traveling with the team. He is questionable. And, you know, if he's not 100%, he's not good to go. Deshaun Jackson could be wide receiver two in this game. And if Demarcus Robinson, you know, misses time because of his injury, um, which, you know, was a hip injury. Luckily, he did get a full practice in on uh, Friday. So I'm thinking he's going to play. I mean, Deshaun Jackson's going to be out there a lot. Like if you guys, I talked about fantasy football with Isaiah Likely. Deshaun Jackson could be a decent play in fantasy football. So could Demarcus Robinson. Those are the only two wide receivers I would even consider starting. Uh, this week and only if uh, Devin DuVernay misses time. So overall Ravens are banged up going into this game. They don't have Ronnie Stanley. They don't have Isaiah likely, um, but they do have Deshaun Jackson, which I think is really big for the Baltimore Ravens. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think um, is Deshaun Jackson. Is this a big deal? Like, is he going to make a real impact in this game? I think he will. I think he's going to be one of the most important players on this entire offense in this game is, is can our wide receiver two step up? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for daily Ravens content. Joshua and I will see all of you in the pregame show tomorrow, um, starting about half an hour before the game starts. Thank you. See all of you.